Beginning January 5th, if you're boarding a flight from China to the U.S., you'll need to have a test showing that you don't have COVID. But I did get a chance to speak to an infectious disease specialist who says that this additional testing may not actually produce the results that officials are hoping for. I think testing visits from China to the United States is more symbolic than actually uh, would pragmatically uh, stem the tide of infection in this country. We have a lot of infection in this country. UCSF disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong yeah. isn't exactly sold on the latest health order regarding travel into the U.S. from China. As of next Thursday, anyone over the age of two coming to the U.S. from China must provide a recent negative COVID test before flying. It comes as China has seen cases skyrocket after lifting its zero COVID policy for the first time in years. Many experts worry infections in China are multiplying so fast they will spawn new variants. However, Dr. Chin Hong points out that there are key differences differences between how China and the U.S. handle the virus, noting there are three key differences that put us in a better position to handle any new variant. Because of increased population immunity here and waves of infection, because of the availability of vaccines and mRNA vaccines, and because we have a lot of therapeutics that can keep people away from the hospital. The CDC has said it's making the change because China notoriously lacks transparency when it comes to medical records, making it harder to analyze and track the mutating virus. Right now, we're not getting a lot of information as to variants, what kind of COVID is coming from that part of the world. According to the CDC, the new requirement applies to all travelers, regardless of ethnicity or vaccination status. And airlines will be responsible for confirming the negative test results before passengers board the plane. The agency also says it's recommending at expanding a long-running COVID monitoring program that's already tracking cases at seven American airports, including San Francisco International. At SFO, Pete Serratos, NBC Bay Area News.